Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing great. Today uh, we are having an arcade haul and styling video. I will talk about their sizes because that was the main problem I had with Arcade and therefore I had to order a few times to get the sizes right to spare you from this hassle. I thought uh, this video may be helpful as well. And we have everything from shoes to jacket and a dress and uh, trousers and tops. So this is a huge haul. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this kind of videos, if you like anything fashion related, I think you will like my content as well. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumb up if you like this kind of videos, you know, styling videos. Arcade belongs to H&M group and they are a high street version of a slow fashion brand. They don't have only great basics, but they also focus on sustainable and ethical practices, which makes them very attractive to me at least. And you know what? 80% of their by the way, this is just only my observations. I think the staff is at least 80% not governed or controlled by seasonal trends, which I love that. I love that about them. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them, sadly. It's just I love their concept and I am just a regular customer. Yes, sadly. I bought everything with my own money. <laughs> Joke by side, I am editing my wardrobe and uh, I really want to invest in key pieces, in pieces that I will wear for years to come. So <laughs> enough of that, let's jump into this video and get started. Just for the frame of reference, I am 169 centimeter on some good days, uh, 170 centimeter uh, tall. My tops are usually in size 36, 38, my bottoms are 36, 34, it depends on retailer. I'm not going to keep everything and I will tell you why. Let's start with my outfit actually. It's everything from Arcade. I've got Arcade jeans on, blazer and t-shirt. This is not from Arcade, this is from and other stories. I will link that down below. By the way, I will also... Oh, yeah. By the way, I will link everything you see in this video down below in the description box and I will also include all the sizings I picked up. Let's talk about the blazer I am wearing. This is not the way I wear my blazer normally. I just didn't put it on because this blazer is going back and I didn't want to sweat in it. <laughs> So um, yeah, that's uh, the blazer. I had to try so many blazers to find the perfect one for me. Maybe I should actually show you. When I show you the black one, I will also uh, give you a quick comparison. I mean, H&M one is very similar to this one, but still very, very different. And, uh, and price-wise, they are very similar because the one I got from H&M is from their uh, premium collection, but we get there. Let us get back to this blazer. I love this blazer. This is such a beautiful piece. It's 100% cotton and cotton and cotton are not the same, you know. They really depend on the quality and the manufacturer. But this one is beautiful and I love it. The reason why I'm going to send this one back is because of the size. I got that in size 34 and I would normally go for a 38. Uh, the reason why I went for 34 is they didn't have it in 38. Uh, they were sold out so quickly in this color. I, I guess it's because of spring and summer. People tend to uh, wear more lighter colors. But I will keep my eyes on, on this one. Soon as they restock it, I will get it in size 36 or 38. Uh, maybe I should put it on just uh, for you to uh, see it. This is... Um, uh, oversized fit as you can see actually 34 would fit still but I really enjoy the oversized fit as you can see this would actually uh, fit I, I don't know I tried so many different blazers but I think our kids uh, blazers are just uh, perfect I don't know something about their cut is spot on and the quality of course is fantastic as, as well so, but I'm not going to sweat in this one because maybe somebody else will buy it. Or maybe I keep it, I'm not sure. <laughs> because 34 is not actually 
actually that bad, was it? Hmm, maybe I keep it, but I will keep you posted. So let us move on to the t-shirts. Oh my gosh, the t-shirts are perfect for every day. I have washed them a few times and they look like the first day. And the t-shirts are 100% cotton as well. You know, you would think a normal t-shirt, I mean, you can't go wrong with a normal t-shirt, but you can. I have tried against so many brands and I love them because they are extremely soft. I love the uh, crew neck. You know, it's not too big, not too small. I love the length of the sleeves and the quality again. And they don't come only in black or white. They come in so many different colors. I pick them in, in this color and also in long sleeve. I have washed this one twice and this one only once. And I had to pick it up in white as well. These t-shirts have a very light material and fabric, so they are very suitable, I would say, for summer. But um, they also come in a thicker, you know, fabric. Uh, it is very heavy uh, material and very substantial. This is in size S, but I think I'm going to return that for a size M because I like my t-shirts to be a bit slouchy and oversized. But this is really great when it gets a bit warmer, but still a bit chilly. And for, you know, the transitional season, this one would do great. This has got to be the, my favorite piece from the whole haul because I have worn this one so, so much. I did a styling video even on uh, the black blazer and featuring this blazer. I will link that video up here so you can go and check it out. I love this blazer. This is for me such a great investment piece. This is, as I said, oversized. I believe it is now on sale, but um, I'm not sure. I will link it for you down below and you can go and check it out. So, I really love everything about this blazer. I love the vent here. It's got a rent on the back, as I showed you, and I love the color. It is oversized, this is size 36, and I normally would go for size 38 in blazers, but with this one, I saw that it looked really oversized on the model, and I didn't wanna overdo it. Because the fabric is not that thick, it's actually not thick at all, and um, you can wear that in summer, maybe not boiling hot summer, of course, obviously, but uh, when it gets warmer, you can still wear this piece. It is fully lined with viscose, and um, you know, viscose is of course man-made, but it is still biodegradable. And the shell is 100% certified wool, and I, I just love how it feels, you know. It, um, it looks, I think, and feels uh, very expensive. And it comes in other colors as well. And I have my eyes on the camel color or even beige or both. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. And the interesting thing is I ordered one very similar to this one from H&M premium collection. And I thought I got the same thing and that was on sale. So I was really happy to get that and try it on because this uh, retails for 150 euro and the H&M premium collection blazer was uh, I think 60 or 70 euro. But um, hold on a minute, I get it and show you the difference. So this is the H&M uh, version of this one and you know I thought H&M is the mother <laughs> company of uh, Arcade, so they will be very similar, but they are not. In my opinion, they are very, very different. And as much as I like this one, but this is still a different level of quality. And so, so this is H&M. And as you can uh, see, it has got a very similar vibe to it at least, but for me, it is very different. You know, it is, it feels and it feels not as expensive or luxurious as the other one and the other one feels and looks for me at least very luxurious. This one is 100% cotton again. I don't understand. It feels differently. You know, it doesn't feel the same way as the arcade blazer does. 
So I can't describe it, unfortunately. You have to, you know, touch it and then you, you would understand. And I think its price was originally 130 euro or something and was marked down, as I said, to, uh, it doesn't say anything about the price, uh, to uh, 70 euro, I think. So it's still not cheap and I prefer keeping something that I really love before I keep something that is similar but not 100% something that I wanted to have. I am going to keep the arcade one and send this one back. So next we have this piece. The quilted coat style is very in at the moment and I think it will last for a while. First I got a similar one from arcade as well in a golden color. That one is beautiful. The cut is just divine and it comes in black as well. But I had to send it back because I had it in size S and S was still too big for my frame and even though you know it meant to be oversized uh, but it was just too much and I wanted to get it in size XS but then I saw this one was on sale and it is in my favorite color so I had to scoop this one and um, I'm so happy I did because it is sold out I think I'm not sure but it also comes in other colors I think in a burgundy red, brown and black, I'm not sure, I will link them all down below for you. And um, yes, but I had to grab of course the green one. It's got uh, two slits on the sides, as you can see. It's got two pockets left and right and yes, it is very oversized <laughs> and this is in size S. The quilted style coats are very trendy at the moment and I think they are going to last a bit longer than just one season. So it is worth to get one that you really love. So next we should move on to trousers. I picked up a few trousers. I have these dad pants which are beautiful. I love them and I am so in love with the quality of this one. This one is not cheap i think it retails for 130 euro almost 130 euro but i love their cut i love the material everything about them but i have to send this one back because i think i could do one size down and because this is a bit too loose and um, i like it to be more fitted these trousers they are so versatile i can't tell you how versatile they are they are not only very very comfortable but they are are suitable for so many different occasions. You can wear them with midi high heels or high heels, just a satin blouse and it would look so elegant and chic. Or you wear just your trainers uh, and you know a jumper with it and it looks so chic and effortless and just so cool. I can't tell you how much I love them. I will definitely get them a size uh, smaller and I have to say because they were not that cheap I considered buying them from a different brand. I ordered something similar from Zara but um, it just you know once you have this one in your hand that one didn't look really good and the quality was not great and I think these trousers are going to stay on trend for a while and therefore I think it's worth spending a bit more money and investing in a piece that will last you longer. Then uh, we have uh, two linen trousers. This one is on sale, still on sale I think. What I really love about these trousers is they give you the longest legs and uh, who doesn't like long legs, right? It looks like so at the back, only one pocket and then you have side pockets, do you? Yes, you have side pockets here and you have this belt, you know, you could leave the belt out but I think the belt looks cute and you have the stitching here and uh, yes, it has got a very straight cut and the color is again khaki green, which is a big trend right now. I have always loved khaki green and I am so happy that um, my favorite color is on trend. <laughs> I really love how flattering they are on paperback style linen trousers. They are 
a million ways to style these linen trousers. I uh, will style them in a few ways and put them on my Instagram account and I really hope you check me out on Instagram uh, because I'm much more active on there and uh, because it's just easier. And the next trousers is again a pair of linen trousers. These are very lightweight. I, I show you how well they are made. You know linen for me is a great fiber for the summer months, for the warmer months. I think, you know, I live in linen basically when it gets warmer. The trousers look like this. so a very straight cut and uh, you have only one pocket at the back. You have side pockets and I absolutely love the quality of these. But having said that, they are a bit itchy. Now, I don't know how they are after washing them. Maybe, maybe they get a bit softer after washing. I'm not sure. Anyway, they are very beautiful. They come in two colors and I would love uh, to have them in beige as well. And in terms of, of sizing, I had to order them twice to get the sizing right. First, I ordered them in size 36 and 36 was too big on me. And these are 34 and 34 fits perfectly. So next we have these shorts. I adore these shorts. I talked about these shorts on my Instagram account and I posted them on my Like to Know It app and many people grabbed these shorts. I think because they are really great. I mean, the cut of these are so flattering. They are, you know, can you see? The legs are not too restricting, so they are quite loose. They, they are high-waisted, they are uh, loose fitting without looking too slouchy. I mean everything about these shorts is just perfect for me. It uh, ticks all the boxes and I am very picky when it comes to shorts but they are great. I love the color as well. I think they come in other colors as well. I will link them down below. About the sizing, I had to order them three times, yes three times. So first I ordered them in 30, in 28, they were just too big and then in 27, still too big and uh, I think 26 is their smallest size, I'm not sure. But as I said, I will put all the links down below, you can go and check them out. I think they come in, I think this is the smallest size, not sure about that, you will check it out. <laughs> Ah, I forgot to mention my the jeans I am wearing. These are very straight uh, cut jeans. They don't have a lot of elasticity. They are very rigid, so I reckon they are not going to give that much. So they are not going to loosen up that much. And that's what I love about them. And yes, uh, this is a size uh, again 26. They come in various colors. They are high-waisted, they are cropped, they have a... Uh, the, the material is very substantial. They are very similar to uh, the Levi's jeans. Next we have this dress. Uh, this is something that I'm going to return because I am not um, crazy about the cut. I thought uh, actually this is a very classic cut and I would love it. This is a nice dress. It, it comes with a belt. And it's got a a big pocket here. I think it doesn't fit me that much. Um, maybe I'm not tall enough for it or maybe I, I don't know. It doesn't fit me. I think I don't feel comfortable in this. It is very see-through. This is something that I don't like so you would need something underneath and um, yes. Other than that it looks nice but yeah it's going back. And I picked up two pairs of uh, trainers. One is New Balance. I haven't worn them yet. And the Vea, as you can see, I have worn them outside. I love them. They are very comfortable. And I picked them up in size 43 from the men section because uh, women uh, shoes go up to 42 or 41 even, I think. Anyway. They are, I think, unisex and, and they have the exact pair in women's section as well. These, uh, they are the New Balance. I had to visit the men's section to get them, but 
they have really great and beautiful selection in their woman section and if I had a smaller fit I would have gone for uh, this pair beautiful I really like them but uh, as I said they come up to 41 or 42 and I would need 43 Please let me know if there is anything you are thinking of getting from Arcade. I would love to hear that. Thank you so much for taking your time and watching my video. I really hope to see you on my next one. Until then, take good care of yourself and I see you hopefully soon. Bye bye.